we're unveiling all the typography tricks and leaving no secrets behind. We're going to explore 10 incredibly popular title animations right here in After Effects, all of which are very simple to create. So if you're ready to master creative typography, let's get started. For the first title, let's get rolling with this easy 3D rolling title. Type out your title to be extra long and make it a 3D layer. Select the lips tool and create a circular mask by holding shift on your keyboard and go into the path options. Set the path to mask one and animate the first margin by alt clicking the stopwatch and you can type time asterisk negative 200 for example. Then we can go to animate, click enable per character 3D and add a rotation. Then just set the rotation X to 90 degrees. And then finally, you can go to the transform rotation and set this anywhere close to around negative 90 degrees. And if you're feeling lucky, you can duplicate the title and you can turn that duplicate into a stroke. So this can be great as a main title or if you just want to place this in the corner of your edit for extra detail. Let's continue rolling with this larger cylinder title. Start off in a 1080 by 1080 composition and when you have your title ready, rotate it by negative 90 degrees. Then go to effect and add the CC repeat tile effect. Set expand right and left to 1500. Great. Now add the CC cylinder effect from perspective. We can adjust the position and rotation to get the angle and sizing we want. Then we can alt click the stopwatch and add a time asterisk negative 20 expression to animate the cylinder. However, be sure to add the drop shadow effect in between the two effects. You can set the opacity to 100% and the softness to around 130. And now we're rolling. Moving forward, this is probably the most popular title design I've created from a previous video. Simply, we're going to cut the title in half. With the pen tool selected, create a mask like this through your text. When ready, duplicate your text and set mask one to subtract. You can now animate the titles to move apart by animating the position of both text layers. For the final step, apply the drop shadow effect from perspective to the top layer. Increase the distance to 45, the softness to 35, and change the direction if needed. Then just animate the opacity to follow your position keyframes. If needed, you can duplicate the drop shadow effect and adjust the softness, but now you can slice and dice your text like butter. As a professional note, you should probably stretch before working out. Just a piece of wisdom my chiropractor tells me that I repeatedly ignore, so let's stretch a title instead. Right click your title, go to create, and select create shapes from text. Go into each letter's path inside of the shape layer and add keyframes. You can then move forward, select the points of an individual letter, and drag them down to stretch out your text. And feel free to repeat this process for each letter. And a pro tip, Beat Baz New is a great font for this effect. So it's apparent that we all work with typography. It's unavoidable if you're a motion designer or an editor. To take out the repetitive process of animating titles for the rest of your career, we've developed over 5,000 text presets that you can animate any group of text in a matter of minutes. With your single title or layers of titles selected, you can preview and apply a preset from our Motion Duck extension. Following up, you can stagger your titles or adjust the timing. And in a matter of a few clicks, you have your project animated. You can get our free temple pack and see the full typography pro pack with the link below. Okay, back in this thing. Let's turn on the lights and create a lens flare title. And this is very easy to do. With your title, right click it, go to create and tap create mask from text. This will create a solid layer with mask. From here, apply the stroke effect from generate, select all mask and uncheck stroke sequentially. Set the paint style to on transparent and then animate the start or end from zero to 100%. Congratulations, you now have a stroke title. But if you wanna be super cool, create a black solid layer and apply the lens flare effect from generate. Now copy one of the mask from the outlines layer and paste it to the flare center. You can adjust the lens flare settings any way you like, but I would suggest adding the curves effect so you can change the color of the flare and be sure to set the blending mode of the flare to screen. And repeat this process of creating flares to expand on your lens flare title. Next up, let's create this expanded title. So take your title, duplicate it, and turn it into a stroke if you want. Move the title up and create a mask to cut off the bottom part of the title. Then repeat this process and cut each part of the title to be smaller and then move them up above the previous title. Now you can position animate the titles to slide into their final positions, making a super dope title. 
and then edit in the endpoint of every single layer. And you can repeat this process for the bottom. For now, let's bounce back to 3D and create this 3D title box. Create a composition that is 300 by 300, then create a solid layer and type out some text. Then bring this composition into a main composition of a legitimate size of 1920 by 1080. All we need to do is duplicate this layer and then select the pan behind tool. Move the anchor point over to one side by holding control on your keyboard. Then do another duplicate and bring the anchor point over to the other side. Now, make these layers 3D layers. You can set the Y rotation of one side to negative 90 degrees and set another layer's Y rotation to 90 degrees. Lastly, duplicate the front facing side, then push it back in Z space by 300 points or by the amount of that composition. Lastly, create a null object, make it a 3D layer, and set that null's Z position back by 150 points and then parent all the layers to the null. Now, when you animate the null's rotation, the cube will now spin forever. Echo titles are a must know and a technique that are always pleasing to use. Simply animate your title any way you like. I have the Z position animating for this one. When ready, add the echo effect from time. Select composite in front, increase the number of echoes, and control your anxiety when adjusting the echo time by holding control on your keyboard. And that's Echo Baby. Next up is a seamless shape title. Take a title that's in a composition that has hardly any open space around the edges. Then place that title into your main composition. Apply the motion tile effect from Stylize. Then animate the tile center to seamlessly scroll your text. Feel free to duplicate the title and stack it responsibly. Now, create a shape or just a, use a logo for example. Set the track mat of each title to that shape and that's it. You can even change the direction of the middle motion tile to mix things up. All right, you made it to the end and I saved the trendiest title for last. We're going to create this color cycle for the final technique. With your title selected, make it a 3D layer and apply this expression to the position. This expression is in the description of this video, so check it out below. When ready, duplicate your title, then go to Effect, Generate, Fill. Now let's create an adjustment layer and we're going to apply a rare effect. Go to Expression Controls and apply Color Control. Moving forward, I'll click the stopwatch for that fill effect and parent it to the color control. You can now change the color here. And to understand why we did this, we're going to duplicate this title about 20 times. Then on the bottom copy, you can relink the fill effect to a new color control and then duplicate that about 20 times. And now with our Orbit Camera Tools, we can rotate this in 3D space. If you want, you can repeat this process for a large title, but when ready, we can then keyframe the colors to change back and forth on the color control layer. This way, the colors can cycle back and forth. So feel free to repeat these steps if needed. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and always be creative.